understanding your 300 megabits per second internet connection. Hello there. Today, we are going to discuss the maximum download and upload speed for a 300 megabits per second internet connection. If you're not sure what MBP stands for or how it impacts your internet experience, don't worry, you're in the right place. We'll be exploring all of these and more in this video, and by the end, you'll have a much clearer understanding of your internet connection's capabilities. What does MBP stand for? To start, MBP stands for megabits per second. It's a unit of measurement for data transfer rates, commonly used to gauge the speed of an internet connection. This means that when you see an internet plan advertised as 300 megabits per second, it's telling you that theoretically, under ideal conditions, the maximum data transfer speed is 300 megabits of data per second. How does this translate to download and upload speeds? When it comes to the maximum download and upload speed for a 300 megabits per second internet connection, it's important to understand that these two may not always be equal. Typically, download speeds are faster than upload speeds because most users consume more data, like streaming videos or downloading files, than they send or upload, like posting pictures or sending emails. If your internet service is advertised as having a speed of 300 megabits per second, that usually refers to the download speed, meaning you could download up to 300 megabits of data per second. But what about upload speeds? For many connections, especially asymmetric ones, like many home broadband services, upload speeds might be significantly slower than download speeds. It could range anywhere from a fraction of your download speed to equal to your download speed, depending on your specific plan and provider. For instance, if you have a DSL or a basic cable connection, your upload speed could be up to 10% to 25% of your download speed. However, if you have a fiber connection, you might enjoy equal upload and download speeds, which is often referred to as a symmetrical connection. In conclusion, a 300 megabits per second connection implies a maximum download speed of 300 megabits per second. The upload speed, on the other hand, could range anywhere from a fraction of the download speed to being equal to it, depending on your specific internet service. I hope this video has helped you better understand your internet connection and what you can expect from it. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask, and we'll be happy to help you navigate the world of internet speeds.